Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive helpful tips on how to relieve pain. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section down below. Hello everyone, welcome. This is Dr. Jacobs. In this video, I'm gonna go over five signs and symptoms of vitamin K deficiency. But before we do that, we need to understand what is vitamin K, the benefit of having vitamin K in our diet or supplementation, and also what you should do at home if you have vitamin K deficiency. All right, so uh, first thing, what is vitamin K? Vi vitamin K is actually a fat soluble vi vitamin that's required for coagulation, which mean if you have internal bleeding, K will help your body to uh, clot that bleeding so you will not bleed to death. So that's an important part of the ingredient for your body to actually cover any bleeding. Also, it's an important component to the bone health or bone development and for cardiovascular health to have a healthy heart. So the first sign of uh, vitamin K deficiency is easy bruising. So I'm going to go over several studies that presenting those symptoms and they found it based on um, looking at several studies and they come up with those conclusion that of those five symptoms or signs. So because actually, as, as I mentioned, vitamin K is very important cofactor for blood clotting. They found with the patient who has vitamin K deficiency, they actually very easy to bleed or easy to bruise. So when you touch them, they bruise and their body slow to heal in relation to uh, injuries. So the second common thing that um, probably a lot of you know that the, uh, vitamin K is extremely important for bone health. And we mentioned that, uh, and they found that vitamin K2 is actually stimulate bone formation. So when you have bone, def uh, when you have K deficiency or D deficiency, uh, those combinations are extremely important for bone health, the bone density will be decreasing. And there is a lot of hype about calcium is what causing decreased bone density. But the problem is American diet is actually extremely high in calcium, very low in magnesium, D, and K, which actually it's important to have K, D, magnesium, and other vitamins and minerals. I will go over this, like for your bone health. You need protein, calcium, D, magnesium, K. You need C, you need A, you need B to have a strong bone. The problem is American diet has high calcium but low of majority of the other things in this list and that's what lead to, to osteoporosis and osteopenia. And actually I have a video uh, to answer the question, are calcium supplementation uh, dangerous for you? So feel free to check it out in uh, my YouTube channel. And I don't recommend you take any calcium unless you watch that video and you really have a lab work that confirm you have calcium deficiency. But watch that video so you will know uh, what the dangers of taking calcium supplement. So they found especially the K, K, vitamin K and D uh, very beneficial to increase bone density. Those are the links for the studies. So bone fraction. So they found with the patient that has a uh, fracture that their vitamin K very low and that's increased the risk of fracture. So the, that's contradict the misperception, oh, you have bone fracture because you're not getting enough calcium. And uh, this, this, this study has actually proved uh, that type is not uh, accurate. Okay, so the other thing that important to understand is the relationship uh, of, of K, vitamin K, and your blood vessel, especially your artery and veins in the heart. So one of the common issue for cardiovascular diseases, heart attack or any heart issue, uh, something called atherosclerosis, and you can see it here. And this is basically narrowing of the blood vessels canals. So as you see the first image here, the artery cross section here is nice and clean. And when you start to have 
or atherosclerosis, you start to have hardening or, and plaque that build up in your arteries and vein, and it's narrowing that uh, canal, and which is actually decreases the blood flow, and if it's blocked, it will lead to heart attack, actually. Uh, so what is black consist of? So black is consist of calcium, cholesterol, waste product, fat, and uh, fibrin. So the hardening part is actually caused by calcification, the calcium. And that's what's important, the relationship between calcium and K, because vitamin K is actually take the excessive calcium from the soft tissue, from these areas, and deposit it in the bone in the right place, instead of calcium floating everywhere and blocking the nerve and arteries. And if you have K deficiency, that will lead to calcification in your blood vessels, and that's what lead to the force sign and symptoms having heart diseases. So let's read this. So heart diseases is actually caused by vascular calcification. That's why I just explained. And that's increased your risk of cardiovascular diseases and mortality. Let's look here. Vitamin K may prevent vascular calcification. So because the vitamin K actually take the excessive calcium in the soft tissue and deposit in the correct place, which is the bone. So, um, and also inhibit, vitamin K inhibit the vascular calcification, so it will help to decrease your risk of ha having heart diseases, and if you already have heart diseases, uh, there is a chance, and narrowing in your artery and veins, there is a chance you might have calcium, uh, cal oh, too much calcium in the system, and also very low uh, vitamin K. So the fifth sign and symptoms is heavy menstrual bleeding. So for women that have really heavy bleeding, there's very high chance that they have uh, K deficiency because the, their body does not clot those excessive bleeding and they just have heavy menstrual. And that's very, uh, very, very good sign of having a vitamin K deficiency. To sum it up, if you have vitamin K deficiency, that's increase your risk of having osteoporosis and actually increase your risk of having bone fracture. Also, if you have vitamin K deficiency, that will increase your risk of having heart diseases like heart attack, and there's a chance of having a stroke at the same time because that calcium will be deposited in the blood vessels in the brain and could clog it at the same time. So if you low in calcium, you will bleed a lot, and your body's not gonna heal very fast, and also for female, they will have a heavy menstrual cycle. So what should you do to if you have a combination of the K deficiency, or you are eating American diet that does not really have uh, enough K? So one of the things that you should uh, do is we need to figure out if you really have K deficiency. If you're eating American diet and you're not eating NATO, which is uh, very high in, in K, there's very high chance you're not getting enough K. And you need to understand that in the body there is a 13 vitamins, 16 minerals, 50 hormones, at least 50 hormones, and 40 neurotransmitters. And for your body to work properly, especially if you have cardiovascular diseases and bleeding, all of this has to work synergistically. Uh, and if you have any one of the vitamins or mineral deficient or high, that will cause deficiency on the other vitamins and minerals because they depend on each other for absorption. And if you have a bone health issue, you need to see, to look at this uh, slide because it's not only calcium, it's not only D, it's not only magnesium K. You need to have proper hormonal imbalance, PTH, TSH, growth hormone, estrogen, especially for female and menopause, and that's increased your risk of having bone, uh, decreased bone density because if you have estrogen, the low estrogen, that will affect the buildup of your bone. And also there's other vitamins and minerals. So I don't want you to think like one size fits all and one vitamin is causing the issue because um, from my experience, 
as a patient and from my experience working with a lot of patients, it's never one vitamin or mineral deficiency. It's usually a combination of several vitamins and mineral deficiency that actually cause the issue, either heart diseases or a bone issue that's related to, uh, as I mentioned here, related to K. So what should you do? Uh, you need to run lab work, and unfortunately, the K lab work is not very sensitive. There is other lab that's more sensitive to detect uh, the proper interpretation of K uh, deficiency. When you take K supplements, it's usually recommended to take it to K with vitamin D because for the best result for your bone health. But to know the dosage, to know the proper form, we really need to know what you really need. And instead of like blindly just assuming it's K and D, that's what gonna fix the problem of the bone. Because each person is different, each t person um, diet is different, and the deficiency is varied between one person to another. So one of the things you can do actually today is take advantage of Ask Aster. It's a free online medical evaluation. It takes about five minutes to answer the questionnaire, and the database will guide you of possible vitamins, mineral deficiency, and what kind of action you need to take to really address these deficiency. All right, if you have any question, leave it in the comment section below, and I will answer it in a future video. Uh, we'll see you soon. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive helpful tips on how to relieve pain. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section down below or go to asterinstitute.com.